um, this fucking menu screen. What the fuck is going on? Why is this happening? What the fuck? I don't know. Welcome guys, Oman here, and today we'll be playing Omori. This is part 16. Hold on, let me check it's part 16. Yep, it's part 16. Um, and yes, last time we stopped, um, we tried to reunite the gang together. Uh, we reunited Aubrey in. However, Basil is still in his room, so we never got to see, we never got to see the resolve in reality. But in this dream world, where I suppose, where Basil said, uh, what did he say? There's still hope for us because you're here. I believe in you, and you came back for me. So please believe in me too. He's about to show me his secret, which ties to me because he's hiding something from me. I, I don't know, I don't know the entire, the entire situation. I'm just gonna go ahead and see what the hell is happening. Uh oh. Help! Help! Door is locked. My only daughter is gone, and you, you're my only son, I can't lose you as well. But this is our mom, I suppose. Okay, it's Basil. Oh, uh, uh, alright, can't really make up what is happening. I think when we gather all of the pictures, they'll tell a story. Then we know what exactly happened, I suppose. But for now, we really know what the fuck's going on. But this is us, right? This is the Omori's family. Okay. Ah. You see four kids climbing a ladder to space. You see five kids having a painting. You see four kids riding an elevator. You see four kids step talking to a wheel. And that's what we did. You see three kids and one toast. You see four kids talking to a giant statue. You see four kids playing in the forest. You see four kids riding a minecart. Alright. This person is breathing steadily. This person is breathing steadily. Okay, everyone's breathing steadily, I suppose. Everyone's doing fine, right? Uh, oh! Dead. Oh, there's another photograph. Oh, what's that? Okay, I'll leave questions for later. I'm not really sure what the hell is going on. This person is not breathing. Oh, where, where did everyone go? What? Oh, okay. Oh, there's another crawl here.
Ah. Comically long staircase. <laughs> Say it's not breathing. Oh man, don't worry, everything is going to be okay. Uh, all right, Batman. Something is preventing you from getting any closer. Not what I was, what I'm thinking, right? No way. Is this what I think it is? Last recital they were talking about. Oh no way, no way. No. No. I think I know what's happening. No fucking way, man. I can't, I can't go in from here. Do you want to screen like bomb? Yes, please. You want to pick up this photo? No! Fucking way! So it is him. This, this guy. Is it? I, I'm, I'm not sure how the picture is described, but... Omori, this person... Is why Mari died. The air feels nice in here. We are playing the murderer all along. What a twist! You can hear some birds chirping outside. I mean, all this speculation, I'm not sure what the hell is happening back there. The smell of clean laundry fills the air. Is this, is this monologue going to keep on going and going? So what I assume from the picture is we, Omori, push Mari down the stairs. It's all just speculation, by the way.
Oh, did we, did we get a re- Oh no, we, we didn't get to it. Okay. Oh, because there are more photos. We haven't completed the collection yet. Oh, is this the tree and the noose? No way. So from what I can see is that Omori faked a suicide for Mari. That's why her parents didn't think Omori was guilty. Omori accidentally pushed her down, so he, he faked uh he faked a suicide. And the father was grieving, he was like or, or probably the father knew. I'm not sure. But all we know is that Omori did it. And somehow, I think Basil saw it. But Basil trusted him. So he did really... He did really try to... Blow... Omori's cover. Something. So something in the lines of that. Yeah. Man. So this dude is fucked up. You know what they say? A picture speaks a thousand words. Wow. I can't believe this one sequence I can already piece everything together. <laughs> I thought it would be more than that. I thought uh the whole Mari issue and oh I thought the Mari issue and uh Basil issue is like two separate things. But it's all it's all in one. We have the final piece. But what do you know? Don't worry guys, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Or probably it isn't Omori, but for Basil because uh, we can't really see who, who pushed her down. Hmm. It could be I sorry, it could be either Omori is the killer or Basil, but let's not dig deep into that. We are here anyways. Was it was it Basil that did it? I'm not sure who did it or were they like accomplices? They, they did it together.
I'm not sure who did it, but uh, I think I know, but I just want the game to help me clarify. Ah, uh, oh man, it's just you. I'm glad you came. It's so good to see you. We came to you that day, the day Mari died. When Mari, when Mari fell, you, you couldn't have done it. It was something behind you, wasn't it? You're a good person, oh man. I know you're a good person. A good person wouldn't do something like that. After all this time, you finally come back for me. But tomorrow, you're going away. How could you do that? That's mean, man. That's so mean. Uh, there's something all around us now. Can you see it, man? There's no way out of this, is there? Where are you going? Stop trying to leave me! Stop it! Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! I don't want to be alone. Not again. You can't leave me again. No, you wouldn't leave me. That's not like you, man. It's something behind you again, isn't it? Ah, oh, there it is now. Do you see it? Stay away. Stay away from woman. I'll protect you no matter what, woman. You can count on me. When something killed Mari, when something ruined all my photos, I didn't see anything. I didn't want people to think it was you, woman. Woman, woman wouldn't do something like that. Don't worry, woman. I'll save you again. Something behind you. I'll get rid of it once and for all. Oh, okay. I think I see the picture now. Woman. Don't be scared. I'm scared too, but this is for the best. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Try to focus, but now is your woman. You. you want to run. You try to calm down, but your lungs fought to breathe. You want to run. No, I can't run. All this time they've been teaching me how how to not run and deal with it. But right now let's, let's deal with this. Oh man. There's no way out of this, is there? Ah, uh, fuck. I have nothing to do. You tried to persist. But you couldn't hold steady. You want to run? No! I won't run! Wait for a tank base. Tell me, woman. Am I selfish for doing this? You want to run? I feel like I, I have two choices. I can either run, I can either fight. I think if I fight, I'll, I'll, I'll kill... Well, can't always run away, man. Woman. Do you hate me?
please stop it. Can I even run actually? I'll try running. Alright. Alright. I can't. I can't. That's all I can do is stop struggling, human. I I'm so tired. One, two, I can't stay. Every time, everything is going to be okay. I, I saw that on the, on the bar. Why won't you stop? But they injure my right eye. to go it makes you want to oh. your acknowledgement of the truth has come at a great cost but it is not too late for redemption fortunately I still know the way back home. But I can't write then. Get back. Hi, human. You found your way back. I don't know if I've ever said this properly, but I'm so sorry for causing you so much trouble. When I give up my photo, give you my photo album, I really did want you to have it. But somehow, whenever I try to help, I end up burdening you instead. Going back then. 
all this pain we've been feeling, the guilt in our hearts, even if we try to bottle it all up, it all comes out somehow. I want to say that everything will be okay, that we have no choice but to carry on. But that's up to you. I'll break Kel and you are good friends, you have to trust that they'll forgive us. It's hard to truly believe that, but the photos in our album, they're not just photos, they're real memories. Our memories, it's proof of our friendship. Hold those pictures close and remember what you want to protect. Well, I'll get charged for manslaughter, no biggie. Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry. It looks like I'm burdening you again. The path to your future will open soon, but only you can decide what to do in the end. It's not much, but I'll be cheering you on. Woman, let's make some new memories together, okay? Truth has come at a great cost, but it's not too late for redemption. Fortunately, we still know the way back home. Okay, so <laughs> it means that I have to go back home for redemption. Don't forget, it's in the toy box. Now here comes the thing, what's in the toy box? I didn't tell you that. We always had a large backyard, so it's nice to finally make use of it now there's a tree house. Tree house is further back, but I can still see my favorite tree. A nice big TV, watching Saturday morning cartoons here was the best. A nice big couch, perfect for falling asleep. I can never seem to sit through a whole movie. Do you remember? That gets really mad when it goes missing, even if it's usually stuck in the couch. A warm fireplace, my baby pictures are over the mantle. I don't like to, to smile, not even in photos. Books that mom and dad have collected over the years, all they do is gather dust. Some small toy cars, Kel must have forgotten to take them home again. Coat rack, this is dad's hat but I never seen him wear it. Shoe rack, mom's shoes are mess as usual. A trash can, Mewa likes to hide in there. Cutting board, Mari accidentally cut a finger here. It was the first time I saw her cry. An old toaster, mom says that it's even older than me. Kitchen sink, washing dishes is the worst. A microwave, I've enjoyed so many good meals with this. Trash can, always. Uh, yeah. Basket for fruits, Maury's a diamond about having fresh fruit in the house. Right. Family photos, I see some of my relatives more in pictures than in real life. You gotta save on this photo then. Man. Mari's clothes, they smell like clean laundry. Mari's bed, and mine too when I had nightmares. A phone that mom made me put in my room. Behind is a detailed schedule. Mari has always everything planned out. 
very comfortable bed. I, it used to be Mari's, but she switched with me when she noticed I had trouble sleeping. Must get full baby toys. I haven't gotten around to throwing them away yet. through a lot these past few days. You must be tired. We all make mistakes. You've been running from this one for a long time now. It's tough to own up to them sometimes, but you forgive yourself, won't you? You can do this, man. You fought really hard to get to this point. There's only one thing left to do now. Know that I'll always be watching over you, okay? As long as you remember me, I'll be here. So what now? Man. Oh. Decoding. This is it. What is inside? What's in the box? It's like they're moving, what's in the box? A broken violin? Got a violin. Strands of long black hair are entangled with its strings. Paper is torn and wrinkled by blood, but it can still be read. Oh, it's dark now. And Mari's gone now. this yes I got just what I needed uh oh my hand doesn't look so good you, you can't just tell people that Kel you have to keep a good look on your face ah what did you get behind me Mari just got here silly yeah I bought cookies for everyone Basil are you taking a photo oh yeah he oh man don't take a photo of when I'm struggling like this. Don't be so dramatic, Kel. It's just a card game. Huh? Another photo? The one's so funny anyway. Is there something you're not telling us, Basil? Don't worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. Stuff toy girl. Okay. Look at Basil's hand. It's a jack and ace. Shh, don't tell anyone, okay? Alright, anything for you, Basil. Look at Kel's hand. It's a four, six, and a six. The 
look cool, man. It's, it's too horrible. At least it's not bus ring. I'm going to lose on it. Mario's cookie are the best, huh, Wu Man? Oh, he will be so humble. You know, your cookies are way better than mine. Hey, that's subjective. Mario's cookies have so much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Stop it, Hero. You're embarrassing me. Get Hero's and it's King Queen. Please. Oh, so he has a 21. <laughs> but unfortunately, it's not as big as Bezos. Wait, is it is it the equivalent of it? It's a 2, 5, and a 10. 17. Hey, what do you think, man? What should I do? Decisions, decisions. Yeah. So nice to spend our last day of summers here. We should do it this every year. Yeah, have a cookie. Mario's cookie. It was perfectly crisp on the outside and sweet and gooey on the inside. I don't want to go. <laughs> okay, I'll go. Wait, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the hell is this? Aubrey stuff like Mr. Planning. Okay, yeah, let's go. You remember the smell of freshly baked cookies? It smelled better knowing that Mari made it from scratch. The violin mended a part of itself. The watermelons all cut up. Come on, everyone, take a slice. Yay, hey, thank you, hero. Look at you, such a big, strong man. Oh, not now, Mari. Haha. Woohoo. Nothing beats a nice, juicy watermelon on a hot summer day. Munch. Hey, don't take a picture of me while I'm eating basil. I'm sorry, Aubrey. I just thought you looked cute. I'll show you when it's ready. Well, okay, fine. I trust you, Basil. Well, let me talk to you. Relax, unwind, and enjoy. You gross! Stop spinning seeds on me, Cal. Ah, uh, you have seeds all over your face. Well, how about this then? Stop it, Aubrey, you gave me the cooties. Hey, who man, did you want to see the photos of Aubrey? Hell yeah. I'll keep it. Aubrey is so cute, isn't it? Is it she? Plastic bag, it's functional. Let them play hero, they're just teasing each other. But how when uh, when we how we were when we were younger. I used to be a, I used to hide bugs on in your desk all the time just to see your reaction. You will be so funny. Wait, that was you? Oops. Am I might travel down here. Guys, come on, we are at the beach. We're supposed to be relaxing. Here is beach bag it matches with barries. Speech bag matches with heroes. Fully eaten watermelon. It was delicious. Tell us backpack. It's way too big for it. Bezos tote bag. It's a little small, but he likes it. Yes, let's go. He remembered. 
the taste of watermelon, it tasted more delicious when you ate it with everyone in the hot summer. The violin mended a part of itself. This is the forest, I suppose. Hmm. It looks like everyone fell asleep. I guess it's just us three now. Aaron must be feeling sleepy after such a big meal. Thank you for cooking for all of us, Hero. Oh, it was nothing. I'm just practicing a little. I'm glad you all liked it. One day you're going to be a world famous chef and you're going to cook me lots of yummy food. Huh? Wait, and I am? Of course you are, I believe in you, you. Well, if you say so. I'm glad you're using your camera more now, Basil. You seem to be enjoying your new hobby. Yeah, I guess it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Wait a second, there's something strange in this photo. Sniff. Hector, how could you? Want to see? This could have been such a good shot, but Hector had to ruin the photo with his poop. So like maybe I can cover it up with tape later. Oh hey, little brother! Sorry, did we wake you up? You look so peaceful sleeping. Then. Reminds me of when you were just a baby. Hey, human! Can I poke your brain for a minute? I really love cooking at all. Uh, Mori says I'm really good, but my parents want me to become a doctor. They think I should become a chef. Yeah. Uh huh. Maybe. If you're still young, you should dream big, right? Mm. But yeah, my mom's going to have to uh some have something to say about that. Bunch of toys are scattered across the grass. The possibilities are endless. They one shoe can get the picnic dirty. Half eaten watermelon. The other half is in everyone's stomach. Bark bark. Okay. Mari's cookies. Feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap. It felt more comfortable because you knew that no matter what, Mari would always keep you safe. The violin mended a part of itself. Is this really what the path of redemption looks like? Remembering stuff and then things will go better. That's not how it works. <laughs> See. Hey human, hey Bezo, what took you guys so long? Sorry, we got carried away playing this new game where you fight each other with these things called pet rocks. Bezo, Bezo, take a picture of my new wrinkle. Oh, okay, one second. Do you like it, human? It's my favorite color, pink. You pink is a gross color. Not not cool, Cal. You are a gross color. God damn. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, man, that reminds me. Mari and I were talking about dyeing our hair together. Mari says she's going to dye her hair purple. Purple? You want to know what color I chose? Are you saying you want to dye your hair pink? You, that's weird. Why would you ever do that? I don't know, I just thought it would be cute. Mari thinks so too. I never understand you two and your crazy ideas. 
I think pink will look good on you, Aubrey. Do you think, human? Yeah. See, even Basil and Uman agree. You're the one who's weird, Cal. Shh, whatever. I'm all siding with the girls. Hope you don't mind. You say you and Basil are playing with the pet, new pet rock skate. Maybe I should get into it too. Hey, I know. Why don't we go to hobbies to check if they have any new stuff? Yeah, that's what those it. One day I'm going to dye my hair pink. But maybe not anytime soon. My dad is kind of strict about these things. What is it, woman? Do you want to see the photo? You always ask to look at my photo whenever I take any pictures of Aubrey. Do I? Maybe sense a little crush? You feel your ears turning red. So it's true. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't say anything. My lips are sealed. Bye bye. Oh, are you going on ahead, woman? Don't worry about us, we'll catch up in a minute. Sound of falling rain as it hits your umbrella. It sounded more calming, knowing that you were standing next to your best friends. The violin mended a part of itself. To be the photo of Uman? Uman is a bit camera shy. We all have those days, don't we? Yeah, it's one of those days. It's okay, Uman. You get used to it soon enough. Mm -hmm. Wow, this cake looks so amazing. You've really outdone yourself this time, Hero. Hey, thanks, Hero. I love strawberries. Strawberries. Basil, Basil, what wish were you going to make? Hey, you can't ask that, Aubrey, or else it won't come true. Huh, is that how it works? Then in that case, I wish that Cal would get straight A's in school. Hey, you can't do that. I wish. Uh, what should I wish for? I have everything I could want right here. Oh, I know. I think I wish for... Just kidding. It's a secret. Oh, I want to know though. Guys, if you don't hurry, the candles are going to melt. Are we all ready to sing? Yeah, you bet. Do you want to start us off, Mari? Sure thing. And, and one, two, three, four. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Basil. Happy birthday to you. Alright, let's get on with it. Ooh, blow your, your candles, Basil. Make a wish. You remembered. Basil smiled as he was about to blow out his candles. But you also remembered. As Basil made his wish, you made one too. At that time, he wished for everyone to be happy. But that didn't turn out quite well, isn't it? You know? <laughs> After what happened. I'm just saying, man. This is the path of redemption. Trying to make things wrong, right. No, make wrong things right again. That's how it should be. 
Wow. A new basketball? Thanks, bro. No problem, Kel. You can always thank me by doing a little better in school. Uh huh, you bet. Okay, man, it's time for you to open up your present. This year, you just get one present from all of us. Probably doesn't look like much, but we all had to save up for it together. Yeah, me and Basil even started selling cookies and lemonade in the summer. And Mary and I took a job at bakery for a while, if you remember. And me, I had to deliver newspapers every morning for like 3 months. You know how much I hate mornings. You know this might be a lot of pressure, but it's been a while since you quit playing the violin. Mari told us about how you always sit in the room with her when she's practicing the piano. And there was even that one time I caught you trying to play your old mini violin, even though it was too small for you. Anyway, then this was Basil's idea, but we all decided to pitch it up for a really nice one. So yeah, we hope you like it, Ruben. This is from all of us to you. It's a violin. Who could have seen? Who could have seen it coming? Ta-da! It's your very own violin. We hope you like it, woman. Go on and try it out. You felt a tingling in your fingers, as if on its own, your body ready the the violin to play. You remember the anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note on your new violin. That it scared you, but you don't mind. Because they believed in you. And no matter what, you didn't want to disappoint them. Because they were your friends. The violin regained its shape. What's this? Oh, what's this? You remember the smell of freshly baked cookies made it from scratch. Remember the taste of watermelon it tasted more delicious when you ate it with everyone in the summer. You remember the feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap. You felt more comfortable because you knew that no matter what, Mari will always be on your side. You remember the sound of falling rain as it hits your umbrella. It sounded more calming knowing that you were standing next to your best friends. You remember the anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note on your new violin. You remember Basil's smile as he was about to blow out his birthday candles. All this. Oh man, you're finally here. After this point, it's going to be up to you. You know, before we met, I had a lot of trouble fitting in. Even after we all became friends, I always assumed you were going to leave me eventually. But when the others were busy doing things, you always seemed to have time for me. You would listen to me talk for hours and hours. I could always rely on you to do that. I know we've missed out on each other for the past few years. But it doesn't have to stay that way. People always tell me that I'm dense or that I'm kinda careless. But I'll always be here if you're okay with that. Good man. We know that you're not someone who likes to take the lead. This has been really hard for you. But you have to put a little bit of trust in us too. Just because you've done something bad doesn't make you bad. You've had to live with this pain for so long, and you've been keeping it all inside. It might be easy, easier to ignore your problems, but it's okay to cry about them too. There's more good times to come. Life gets better, and you can be the one to make that happen.
Whatever happens next is going to be your call. But we are here for you because you want us to be. And we really hope that this isn't goodbye. No matter how far you push your feelings down, they always come back somehow. And what you do with those feelings, that will be your truth. Hey, old man. Break a leg for me, alright? But when you end up choosing, we'll always want what's best for you. Keep us in your thoughts. We'll be cheering you on. You can do this, old man. I promise to stick with you until the very end. Yeah, I think we'll always be best friends. That's okay with you too, right? I'm gonna say, but wait. We're in the backstage, apparently. We believe in you, woman. Empty music stand. They want to place down your sheet music. Place sheet music onto the music stand. Alright. What's that? The stage is ready for you. Do you want to play the violin? Yeah, let's go. Oh. Endless crowd, and I can't see shy. Oh wait, no, I'm here, playing the guitar. I mean violin. Let's go. What is he doing? Is he crying? This is me! And that is me! What are we gonna do? This is a battle against my past self. It's a bit epic.
you remember Cal's words? Friends, friends are supposed to be there for each other. so much suffering that you do nothing and so you've earned nothing in return your friends will never forgive you they will abandon you like you did to them and that's what you deserve Not succumb. You tell yourself that you don't want to burden others, but the truth is that you're selfish. You just don't want people to depend on you. you think about others? How long are you going to let people take care of you? You say you care but you're a liar. You've never done anything for anyone else. You're useless. Less than useless. You're sick. People like you don't deserve to live. Wish. I hope you can find some peace or you know some happiness. are wrong about you. The person they love isn't you at all. You let them believe in a lie to protect yourself. Remember Hero's promise. Last time we made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other. This time 
stay together. You are nothing but a liar, and when they see the truth, they'll hate you as much as you hate yourself. the truth you'll never be able to regain their trust. No matter what you do, you'll be hopeless. All you do is make things worse. It would be better if you just die. Mori did not succumb. One day, things can go back to the way they were before. Aubrey loved her and you killed her. I lost. Fuck. He keeps on using the same move. I can't do anything. Oh, I'm supposed to lose. Oh, okay. 
see. this That's the door. I see. 
It's like an epilogue or something. Flowers from Charlene's family. Dear Hooman, thank you for your help during the summer. Almost wishes for a speedy recovery. That was from Shanky. Dear Hooman, just sending healthy vibes your way. You're always welcome at hobbies. Kim and Vance, mom. Get well soon, Hooman. Please get to know Kim and Vance better. They can use a good role model like you. I'm an artist. Hi, Hooman. Hope you're taking it slow and easy. Get well soon and come visit. I need to ask you for some opinions. Static. Flowers from Sean and Karen. Wishing you well, woman. We are all finished moving to our new home, so please come visit sometime. Okay, we'll give from Kim and Vance then. Sending you some good wishes, just like big old rubble ball in your Vance bag. From Kel and Hero's family and Aubrey. Sending a, li a little get well sunshine your way. We miss you, woman. Oh, Basil, I want to know. What's happened with this? Get well gift from Vance, Kim, Charlie, Angel, and Aubrey. Get well soon, man. We'll be waiting for a rematch. I have to tell you something. He's going to speak the truth. What? There's a sing along as well, which obviously I'm not going to sing. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. I guess solid, like the uh, the the level design and everything, solid. The only thing is probably um, kind of how do I say music is good as well actually, but uh, there are some uh, there are some things that they haven't explained like. I'm I'm not I think I think I'm overthinking it actually. But 
like the reason why why did Omori push uh, Mari off the stairs? Is it because like a really really trivial trivial matter or something big they never explain? Or probably it's just an accident. It's probably as simple as that. Ah, uh, all right, no problem. I I got a special things. It's me. I got a special things. Achievement unlock one more day. Thanks for playing. No problem. Money well spent, I suppose. So that's the end of Omori. Been playing a lot to be honest. I think it's a pretty solid game. Solid entry for one of those RPG games out there. Um Does it live up with the hype? How can I say this? Perhaps. It's really good at some parts, really boring at some parts. Uh, the horror side of this, I feel like it's a bit too short, to be honest. I mean, uh, there's there's quite less to explore in, in those darker side areas. You only go through a few doors, you, you, you get to see those, you, you, you don't get to see more of that. Maybe in the other endings, you get to see more of that, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll try to, to play it, or <laughs> just watch other people play the other endings. I really can't go through all this. There's too many cutscenes at the end. I had to go through like 10-20 minutes in order to, to, to reach to that one part. But anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Um, and I thank you for watching to anyone out there. I mean, in the end, it really is just me watching my videos. <laughs> but anyways, thank you for watching.